Hi team. So this is going to be a very interesting topic. Uh, yes, we'll be talking about how we can execute our APM test on a Sauce Lab for uh, the devices like iOS, uh, like iPhone device, iPad device, and Android device, right? So how we can uh, deploy the real app on uh, their platform on the Sauce Lab cloud platform and how we can execute the test over there. So in, in, the, in the previous uh, video we have seen, in the previous tutorial, we have actually seen how we can execute our browser related test uh, that is our web based test on uh, cloud on the cloud platform that is provided by sauce lab right we have executed our test on multiple machines and uh, multiple uh, browsers right so in this uh, tutorial we are actually going to see how we can execute our mobile based testing uh, the native apps and the hybrid apps on uh, the devices on the emulators and the simulators provided by sauce labs, right? So I'm going to show you a couple of execution and then we're going to discuss about how we can configure and set up all these things, right? So here uh, I have written a code uh, like uh, this is a code that uh, uses the device that is Google Nexus 7, right? This is uh, uh, an emulator we are using over here and we are uh, using the current APM version that is 1.31 and the platform uh, the Android uh, version is 4.4 right so what I'm going to do if I execute this code over here and if you go to the sauce lab website you're going to see uh, there is a new job that is in queue and in couple of seconds you'll see it is running so when I click on full screen you're going to see over here uh, environment that's been set up is a Linux platform on the Linux machine uh, you're gonna see the Nexus uh, 7 uh, emulator has been opened up see a device that got open and my test application will be deployed onto this device on sauce lab cloud network right and the entire test cases that I have written uh, will be executed on this device so uh, this is my test app and uh, see it's typing something over here so my first test is just to type executing on sauce labs just to make sure that everything works fine on the sauce platform and once the test is executed uh, once it is completely executed sauce labs uh, provide a feature that it will actually going to record the entire execution so you can see there's a video being generated over here and if you take a look over here selenium logs if you go over here you'll find the entire logs so how the app is being deployed uh, this is the same uh, log when you actually run uh, the apm code from your machine and you see these logs on the apm server right so you're gonna see the same log over here and in the screencast you'll see a video being recorded if you play this video it will actually going to perform the entire execution uh, again in front of you the recorded execution right it will show you what all steps what all test cases that you have executed because when you are running uh, your test on sauce lab it's not like uh, you should be uh, uh, practically on uh, like you should be uh, physically present on that website right you will be executing your code from here and nothing get uh, displayed on your machine it's only on uh, their sauce lab platform you will see all the execution so that is why they are actually recording the entire execution and over you over here you can see uh, the device is being routed now right and in couple of seconds uh, it will open up uh, the emulator and execute uh, the entire stuff so everything is recorded with them so this is the best part i mean uh, many many people are actually looking for forward to execute their code on the sauce lab environment so through this you can easily easily uh, work on this platform see and not only this there's a huge list of devices available over here if i uh, visit this particular link 
you're gonna see uh, 477 devices OS browser platform supported by Sauce Labs, right? So over here you can see iOS. These all uh, phones, these iPhones and these iPads are available for testing. For Android, uh, we have Google Nexus 7, LG Nexus. Uh, Galaxy S3, S4, a lot of devices and different API versions available over here, Android versions, right? So let's say uh, if you want to change your uh, emulator to Galaxy 3, so just go over here and you can see the APM and the Python and different languages code available. Just copy the Java one, right? And the, this is the code that you're going to get. Uh, you can directly copy it from here and uh, let's say open a notepad plus plus and what you can do uh, entirely go over here paste it and just remove these things copy this and go back to your code and this is the entire thing that we need to paste it over here like this right in case you are automating a native app just uh, mention this as blank and remove this all right so we are all set for samsung galaxy s3 emulator now if i uh, go back to source again and uh, go back to all tests So my previous test, I can see my previous test results over here. This was successfully finished, right? You can uh, rename these sessions. Uh, by default, it is uh, unnamed, right? So when I execute this test again, you will see one more uh, uh, test that will get executed. See, it's running. We'll go to the full screen and and uh, a couple of seconds it will going to launch our platform and see this is the samsung galaxy right the device and it will now execute the same test over here so see on multiple devices you can uh, actually test your code using the sauce lab uh, cloud platform right and in a couple of seconds it will deploy the app on this device so the app is de uh, deployed and this is a native app and then you can perform your testing over here see the entire execution is being done so all the selenium logs okay right now the logs will not be shown once the test is completely executed uh, once uh, we say driver.quit the test will uh, be completed and it's really um, uh, like mandatory to give driver dot to it otherwise you're going to see some failures over here uh, so this is being executed and the logs are being generated and a video that got captured so over here if you see the commands these are different commands that we have executed and uh, this is a snapshot of what uh, that got executed so yeah i mean this is a really cool platform and uh, moreover one of the, the good thing i can execute my ios test as well through my windows machine although you cannot do any testing on it because uh, for testing iphone based apps you need a mac machine right but you can execute that test uh, through windows i'm going to show you next that how we can do that right so let me go back to all test and i have a test for ios activities as well right and what i gonna do over here so if i execute this uh, code it will open up uh, iphone simulator so if i run this now it will uh, schedule one more job see it, it is opening on mac 10.9 os right if i view it on flu uh, full screen you're gonna see uh, the iphone simulator uh, that gets open on a mac machine and see it's on ios 7.1 and this is a macbook and in a couple of seconds you're gonna see it will launch a simulator this is a ios simulator iphone retina 4 in 64 bit and this is the code 
this is I this is another iOS uh, app that uh, got open that got deployed onto this uh, iOS simulator and now it got open and now you can do whatever testing that you want to do if you manually press uh, this thing as well it will uh, uh, be treated as your real device as in you are doing a real uh, testing on a real device and you can record these steps as well so everything will be uh, recorded as a video next uh, there are uh, resources available for uh, ios as well if you want to get some code for ipad uh, you can say this and through java copy this code right uh, in iPad, you just need to change the desired capabilities to iPad. So if I'm using iPhone, I can change it to dot iPad, right? And now if I execute this code again, it should uh, actually execute it on uh, iPad. So let's uh, go back over here to all test and let's see if the new job is being scheduled or not. right a uh, new job is running and let's see if it is being executed on ipad ios 1.7 and let's see the screencast okay so let's wait for a couple of seconds It's it's taking time, so let's see. Okay, uh, okay, this is iOS iPhone simulator. So maybe uh, we might have missed something. Let's see. Uh, if I copy this code, this should be actually same, but uh, we'll still see okay this is one of the things that i missed ipad simulator so when uh, i'm writing over here iphone simulator i should give the name as ipad simulator right when we are working on rest everything seems to be same uh, in uh, case of ipads and iphone your browser should be safari but if you are uh, testing a native app you should give it as blank right so once this test is executed uh, we'll again go to all tests and let's try to run this test one more time and see this time iPod, iPad uh, simulator gets opened up or not. So let's execute it once more. <coughs> and let's see. Alright. Still being loaded, and you can see uh, the iPad simulator is being opened up, right? And let's see if it deploys uh, our app on iPad as well. Okay, so the app got deployed on iPad as well. And same thing you can do. You can do testing on this app. You can perform the entire actions. So in, in next uh, few videos, we're gonna uh, do some testing on this app, and we're gonna see how we can uh, execute it on uh, uh, Sauce Labs platform on uh, different iPhone, iPads, and Android devices. Right. So this is a really cool feature that you can execute. Uh, with a free account that is provided by Sauce Lab, but that comes with a limited uh, testing time. And if you want to go for a license of Sauce Lab, you can also go for that. And I don't think that it costs very much. But uh, this this is again depends on your requirement. I'm I am using the free license because I am actually demonstrating uh, how you can execute your test, how you can connect to Sauce Labs, right? And uh, in the next lecture, where I'll be discussing about the detailed configuration, <coughs> how I have actually executed all these things. So in the next lecture, we're going to take a look at this. All right. 
so that's all in this lecture and and if you if you uh, want more uh, want to see more videos more tutorials on ios then you can visit my website that is way to automation.com and you can go to this apm section i have a full course on apm with through which i mean you can master this particular uh, upcoming selenium 3.0 uh, api that is apm and uh, you can see how you can you can learn how you can automate uh, your native hybrid and web app on ios and uh, iphone devices right so thanks a lot for your time thank you